society has always had a lower perception of girls and their abilities, such that it usually prescribes what a girl can and cannot do. Apart from the prescribed abilities applying many in the social structures, this has also greatly affected their academic achievements. In turn, girls have set themselves a standard limit to which they can attain excellence and left the rest to boys. But with time, society's perception of girls and also the standard achievement bar that girls are setting for themselves have changed. Girls are now getting more and more interested in achieving excellence in certain subjects that were once considered boys-only subjects. Malawi Girls in Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics Mag STEM comes in with an aim of providing a greater podium on which girls will get to know more about science subjects. How have you managed to get the book, the egg inside of the bottle? Hmm. Using ox tea. The organization aims at fostering interest in girls towards science, technology, engineering and mathematics subjects through several science camp meetings they hold. In partnership with FHI 360 and the Faculty of Science at Chancellor College, Maxstem held its first ever science camp meeting at the University of Malawi's Chancellor College from the 18th to the 22nd of April in the year of 2017. Fiskiani Kondowe is one of the co-founders of the organization and also his publicity secretary. She explains more on why Magstim organized this camp. This camp was organized essentially to bring together a group of secondary school girls from rural Zomba and try to expose them to uh, science-related activities, experiments, essentially to just uh, inspire them to understand that they can pursue careers in the science, technology, engineering and mathematics field and also that they can excel. In addition to that, we also wanted to expose them to female role models, women that have uh, excelled in STEM, in science, technology, engineering and mathematics. And most of these females are lecturers from Chancellor College in the Faculty of Science, are women that are working uh, in the industry but then they, they're pursuing careers that are STEM related. It is very important to encourage girls to do STEM because uh, as it is in the world at the moment, uh, there is a belief, or we call it a stereotype, that most people think that uh, science or STEM-related careers are for boys or for men. The general belief is that uh, science is difficult, the girls are not going to be able to manage, they won't excel, but then it's not true. So what, I, what, I, what we're trying to do is to actually show the girls that they can do STEM and they can do it very well and that they can believe in themselves and work really hard and understand that if they are determined and they set their hearts and mind to doing it, they will do really well and excel so much in the STEM field. During this camp meeting, several activities ranging from lectures in geography, physical science as well as biology took place. Um, structure Motivation talks were also held in the Great Hall with speakers ranging from girls who are done and others who are still doing STEAM. <laughs> I was the last boy in a family of 11, seven boys and four girls. Uh, my mother was a single mom in the village. Komano mutima watu kuti tsika na pite ku school zinali sobata chito people used to say tsika na msafutiko da pite ku school adzagwa ti waine we azaberekana bla 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 right zimene sokwe na manena watu meti kutonge right kuno safutika ku process tsika sister wanga wena wake osando wa family mwatu koma family ina Amene Anna Bidiza School do Kanis. And she impressed me one pity for the nice one I do get a so 
Kuyoti. Kone na kutikata yake na niyofana na yoti. Don't bother about the girl child would have been there. Mbele, I made a decision. Kuti na yoti mafuna niza kare kato yoyo. Nane iso. Niza kare nesi. So, after making that decision, I made the goal that Fishan was talking about. Nufuna niza fige hako niza bangi jahuti. So whatever I was doing, I was focused on doing that. And because I made a decision that I'm going to make a difference, I went hard. But I think because I was so mature then, I was able to make the right decisions in college, and I made it. I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Medicine, then I started working. So people will be turned to your mother and sister and don't give up. My food will help you to be the main one in your kitchen. It's not going to be easy. But if you make a decision that you want to make it, you are going to make it. Okay? All the best. The girls also had an opportunity to meet female role models who did STEAM and are excelling in their fields. The role models stressed on how challenging and rewarding the field is. I would like to encourage girls to pursue um, courses in science, or should I say careers in science, now because um, they shouldn't fear, because most times they think only boys can do engineering, only boys can do mathematics, but then we are here, I am here, my colleagues are here, the, girl, the other girls are here, they're also graduating. We did it, why can't they do it? It's the same brain that a female has, that a male also has. What is so different about it? If they bulldoze you, we also have that energy, that, you know, that vigor to also what bulldoze them. So even for parents, I'd like to encourage them not to choose careers for their, for their, uh, for their children, but to guide them. With my experience, it was difficult initially, it was difficult if you're searching for jobs, for people to employ a female because they believed if you're going to sample something from the warehouse, you cannot climb up several feet upwards and, uh, you know, sorts of things that you can't do, fulfill certain duties. But however, I managed to break that notion and did the job very well. And um, now, being here at Chancellor College, uh, there are so many opportunities now for female scientists. And the staff here at the college, they do make sure that they promote such opportunities and there haven't been any hindrances. So being in such an environment and being a MagSTEM member, it has allowed me to raise awareness of the science courses that are there as well. Because during my time, I didn't even know I'd come here and do chemistry or physics or have a degree in mathematics. But now these girls have that advantage of having us and you know having that awareness that they can do such courses and not just the you know the commonly known being a lawyer a doctor a nurse a teacher a lot of people like take science as as a field for men which is not true science can really be done by every person be it a girl or a boy. So those girls out there who think cannot do science, they have to know that everything is possible and nothing is really difficult. If a man can do it, then why not ask girls? There are a lot of girls in secondary school, even in primary school, who do not have parents, and they're really facing many challenges, like lack of school fees, and maybe being mistreated by their guardians. What I can encourage them is that they have to work hard, they have to continue working hard and make it to secondary school and thereafter making it to college. And they also have to know that there are a lot of bursaries and scholarships that they can get, that they, that they can get in order to go to universities. In my motivational talk, I emphasized on the point of being focused and being determined, but then I also emphasized on the point of how like sometimes you may set a goal, you may plan your life and everything, but then it may not turn out as the way you plan out to be. So I give an example of um, a 12, as humans we are 12s I should say, but if we're focused or if we're determined and if we just keep our eyes on our goal and everything, we can, you know, just get wherever we want to be. An example of a 12, it's um, basically 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. 
16 minus 4 is also equal to 12. So sometimes in life, it might not always be, you know, perfectly as the way we plan it to be. So that's why sometimes we need to manipulate all the opportunities that we have, subtract some certain things, you know, add certain things so that we can just, you know, get the answer that we want to get, which is our goal that we set uh, when we're still young, as we're moving on to the top and everything else. So, yeah, basically in life, if we're focused, if we're determined, and if we keep our eyes, you know, towards our goal, if we're so, if we're driven, if we're purposely driven, I should say, we can easily get where we want to be. And yeah, definitely life is not easy. Many challenges can come through, but yeah, it's up to us if we're really, 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 really determined to just, you know, overcome all these challenges and reach for the moon. Some of the girls who took part in the camp expressed their gratitude and explained how the whole exercise has shaped their perception towards STEM subjects and also life in general. I come here with a purpose and that purpose I, I have to concentrate on a workshop. We have some teachings which we, are, we, which we learn inside the home. So after learning those things, I get something from there. Then after, when I get that, that something, I go to my... I go to my community and tell others what I have learned about Indy. Tell them, don't let girls fall in science. We should be concentrating on science. Because many girls in Malawi dislike science. So everybody have to know what the science is. And science is a help, it's a key of our goals. They think science is tough for them. And others dislike sub subjects like mathematics. They think boys are good for mathematics. No. We girls are also good for mathematics. Everybody is good. Because when you are concentrating on mathematics, we can ask others who knows to do with the mathematics. And us can copy something from there and concentrate on our studies. Even we have, we have little necessary materials. We can also concentrate on just the practicing using some materials, like our home materials and also some materials at school. It is very nice because my life has been changed. When I go at my home, I'll be reading very work hard. The teachers who accompanied the students explained how they will ensure sustainability of the knowledge that has been acquired during the whole camp meeting. It is just very, very important because these students have come here for the first time and they are very much motivated. I think they are going to change because they, their mindset is going to change because of what they have learned within these four days they have been here at the Chasa College. I am a mentor. Yeah. Now, being a mentor, I always talk to them students. I cancel them. I guide them. Change is not a quick fix. It takes innovations, diligence, hard work, patience and sustainability for it to come to full effect. With such an initiative that has been established with the name of encouraging secondary school girls to pursue careers in the most shunned science field against all odds, we can only hope that this is the first of many initiatives to come which will see Malawi stepping into greater heights.